Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning into this video. I want to give you some pointers on getting started in web design in 2011. All right, I've talked about this in the past, but I think it's time to sort of uh, refresh everyone. Or if you're just now following this video for the following me for the first time, you're coming here. Um, here we are in 2011, middle of January, and here are some practical tips on getting started in web design. Um, stuff that I think is a, is a basic blueprint, step by step, you know, few tips that you should take when you're first getting started. There's a lot of information out there. The things that I think you should focus on uh, is basic HTML and CSS and some basic knowledge, you know, of Photoshop or whatever, okay? Just some, some basic graphical, you know, graphic design skills. Now, once you have the basic HTML, CSS, and basic you know, graphic skills, you can learn all the rest. You can learn HTML5, you can learn CSS2, and CSS3, and all that stuff, but you wanna learn just the basics first. And the next step is just learning how to build a website. You can watch some of my videos, or you can go to lynda.com, which is how I learned in the past. lynda.com, they have full length tutorials, and you can, you can spend $2, $25 a month, and you can learn how to build a website. And follow their tutorials and learn you know Dreamweaver uh, Photoshop or whatever okay so you do that at lynda.com now you have the basic understanding on how to build a simple website you want to get started in web design you've watched some of my videos and you're not sure how to get started okay the first thing you need to understand is that the your entire I guess the most important thing for every web designer is their portfolio the portfolio piece is your lifeline, is your brainchild, is your your bloodline to your career. Okay, without your portfolio, no one knows what you do. No one, know, no one can find you. They can't, um, they can't see what you're doing. They're not going to hire you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. Now, there's probably some exceptions out there of some people who are really good that doesn't have a portfolio. But for the most of us, I mean, for the 99.9, .9, you know, percent of us, we need a portfolio. Okay. Now, before you build your portfolio, before you make the mistake of actually working on your portfolio, you actually need some portfolio pieces. Okay, this is a problem that a lot of web designers who are starting out make. They tend to work on their portfolio site. You know, they pick a domain, they start picking on their portfolio, working on their portfolio, but they don't really have any content or they don't have any a portfolio to show. So it ends up being a shell of a site without any substance okay you don't want that you basically want to put your own portfolio aside and work on three or work on your portfolio and I would recommend working on a couple websites one build a fictitious restaurant website okay go to Isaac photo get some really nice quality pictures of some food and build a fictitious website you know home page maybe a little slideshow um, a menu page and a contact page that's it the reason why I say restaurant website because there are some really nice quality food photography shots out there that you can got you can go and get and it's it, it will enhance your website okay so now it would allow you to build a really nice portfolio piece okay fictitious restaurant site you make the name up whatever it is and, and you, you build it okay this might take you a month or two okay but you spend time building this website the second site that I think you should build is a vehicle website. Pick a vehicle that you like, you know, a Lexus, a Mercedes, a Range Rover, a Ferrari, Porsche, whatever. You go and get a Porsche, or you go to the Porsche website or the car vehicle of your choice website, and you start to grab some photos from there, and you build a mini microsite. You know, it could be three pages. You highlight the car on the first page. You know, you add some features. The second page is, is you know, maybe some a photo gallery of the site, um, you know, and some videos, footage, you know, which you gathered from the the actual website, and uh, maybe a contact page with a link actually taking you to the actual real, real company to purchase that vehicle. Okay, so, and the reason why I say build a vehicle website is because again, you can go out there and grab some really nice photography of these vehicles, which will also sort of in a, in a way sort of cheat the system but you're using these nice photos to actually enhance your portfolio so subconsciously when someone looks at your portfolio 
they look at these nice quality photos and they think, wow, this is a really nice design. When, when, you know, when all along you're just actually being smart about it and going out and get some really nice photography and, and, and uh, using it for your portfolio, okay? Now you have these two websites, now you can start working on your portfolio. You know, look at my website, mlwebco.com, it's really simple. Homepage, about page, portfolio page, okay? Now you've got these two sites to your portfolio, you add a contact uh, page and you're done. Now you're set, you're ready to hit the streets, you're ready to go knock on doors, do a few websites for free, for charity, to build your referral sort of leverage, and uh, you go from there. All right, and you can also start use that portfolio to start um, putting out your resume um, out in the market to land a job as a web designer, um, as a junior web designer to actually start your career there as well. All right. Now, again, keep in mind that this is a process. It might not take you two weeks. It can take you six months to actually get your portfolio off the ground. Okay, I highly recommend doing those two websites first before you actually start building on your portfolio. All right. So now you think of it as a process think of it as you know it, it takes time to actually learn this and along the way you are learning some really good things and by the time you have your portfolio out there you have would have learned some some really good things that you can take to the next uh, site that you build and, and you're off from there all right there's a lot more to it but I just wanted to give you some pointers in this video and just um, I kind of give everyone a refresher here we are in 2011 and um, you know these are some tips that you need to take to uh, get your web design career off the ground okay HTML CSS basics you know Photoshop basics lynda.com a restaurant website a vehicle website then your portfolio all right and then you hit the streets all right so I uh, hope you learned a little bit from this if you have any questions shoot me an email mlock at mlwebco.com and uh, Continue to watch my videos. That's the other thing. Follow, continue to follow folks that you think that that, that are helpful, that are mentors to you, and uh, that you know adds value to your career. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon. Good luck. Bye.